Hey guys, I'm Alphonse. Welcome to the 22nd episode of Anybody Can Code C programming series. If you'd like to take a look at the previous episodes, please use the link in the description. In today's episode, we'll be looking at some of the programs related to strings. Now, let's look at our first program. Our first program here is to find the maximum repeated character in a string. Before we start coding, let's understand the logic of this, prog of this problem. So, suppose we are given a string with value hello and we are interested in finding the most repeated character in this string. How do we do that? So here, each pass refers to one full execution of the loop. So what we do is first we take the character that is the first character here is H and we search for this character throughout this string. So we see if there are any other occurrences of H and as we can see that there are no other occurrences of H hence the count of H is 1 and next we are interested in seeing if the character E is being repeated in the string or not. So we can see that the only place E occurs is after H and there are no other occurrences of E. Hence the count of E is also 1. But next, the character L is being repeated twice in the string in the third and fourth position. Hence the count of L is 2. And also in the fourth pass, the count of L remains 2. And in the fifth pass, the count of 0 is 1. So this is the logic behind this program. So now let's quote and see how to do this program. Let's go ahead and define our string. And I'm also interested in defining a character uh, variable that will hold the character that is repeated the most number of times. So I'm also declaring a count variable to see the, to check if a character, how many times a character is being repeated in a string. And I'm initializing it with a value zero. So let's go ahead and receive the input from the user. Enter the string. Now let's write a for loop to traverse through the string. So this for loop will execute until string of i is not equal to the null character. And we are incrementing the condition variable. And since we are traversing through the uh, string, we would have to make use of a nested loop here. This would also have the same condition. Next, what we are doing is, that is, we are fixing on one character using the outer for loop and through the inner for loop, we are traversing the whole st string to see if there are any occurrences of that character that is being uh, denoted by the outer loop. So let's see that. So if str of i is equal to str of j, then we are incrementing the count variable. So this would find the number of times a particular character is being repeated. Next, 
as we saw it in the uh, excel sheet the character h e were repeated once but the character l was repeated twice so we would have to check each time to ensure that we are storing the character that is repeated the most number of times so using a variable called hi so let me define that and initialize with the value 0 if hi if count is greater than hi then assign the value of count to hi and assign the value of uh, that particular character to ch after this initialize the value of count back to zero so this for loop that is the nested for loop here would find us the maximum repeated character in the string let's go ahead and print the output so if high is not equal to 1 I'm giving it as high not equal to 1 because if all the characters in the string are unique then the 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 maximum value that the high can have is 1 and hence if i is not equal to 1 then we know that there is a maximum repeated character in a string the maximum repeated character is and we are printing the maximum number of times it is repeated So in the else part, we'll be printing that all the characters are unique. So now let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm entering the string has hello and you can see that it is showing us the maximum repeated character is L and the maximum number of times it is repeated is two times. Now let's look at a second program. A second program here is to reverse the string. So just like in the previous episodes we would have seen how to reverse an array just like that here we would be reversing the string but the logic remains the same first let's go ahead and define our strings so we would have two strings here one to one that is holding the initial input and the one that is holding the reversed string value let's go ahead and get the input from the user So, 
first what we have to do is determine the length of the string so for that we need to make use of for loop using for loop we can find the maximum number the length of the string So here we are incrementing the count variable. So let's go ahead and define that count variable. Next, what we do is we are writing the logic to reverse the string. So So I'm assigning the value count minus one to the variable j since we are, are interested in storing from the last value in the string. So this program will execute until, so, sorry, this for loop will execute until the string one reaches the, the null character. So Next is we will be incrementing the i variable and we'll be decrementing the condition variable j. So we're just assigning those values string two of j equal to string one of i. So that's all. So what we have done till now is we have found the length of the string once the string is entered and using the length we have uh, reversed the string. Next let's go ahead and print the string. The reversed string is string to let's go ahead and run this program So here I forgot to initialize the value of i. Let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm entering the string has a hello. So we can see that the string is being uh, reversed, but there are some special characters being displayed along with the string. So the problem here is that though we have reversed the string, we have not informed the compiler to treat, us, treat it as a string. So what we have to do is we have to initial, we need to assign the value null character at the end of the string. So now let's go ahead and run this program. I'm entering the string as hello. And the reverse string is okay. So 
so I'm entering the string as hello and you can see that the string is being reversed and this time it is not displaying any special characters with this we come to the end of this episode in the next episode we'll be looking at few more programs related to strings so stay tuned hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe